Okay, welcome back. It is a uh, Monday. And we missed our first day of the year here yesterday because of uh, the Super Bowl. We didn't make a stop here. So we m missed out on any uh, fun Sunday stuff. Sunday, Mondays are the days where uh, we don't have a full production crew. So nothing too crazy, but you know, uh, there could still be some good stuff today. So we'll have to take a look. I got a full cart of stuff. Got some DVDs, some stuff to look up, some graphic novels too, so take a look through it. Doubt these are going to be anything, but found these Osborns little figurines. I've got Jack and Kelly there too. No Ozzy, so no full set or anything. But we'll look those up too. Yeah, here's Sharon. There's Jack. Let's see, I think they have them in here, and then I'll show you Kelly. It looked like an Ozzy Osborne one had sold, but none of the others had. Didn't see one of her listed. They are you know, under 20 bucks. They're kind of fragile, you know, stuff like this. So if it doesn't break in storage or something, you know, it might break on the way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna leave those behind. Also, coincidentally, was watching uh, Justin Resells today. He's talking about these blue line VCRs. I've never picked one up. This one's eight bucks, no remote. They sell for about 50-ish, um, seems to be. Um, so I'm going to test it. I might pick it up just for the heck of it. Alright, let's see if this puppy works. Let's see if it plays automatically. Yeah, I can hear it fast forwarding. These so are supposed to be pretty reliable. Sounds like it's rewinding. I wish I had some time code so we could actually see it, but it seems to be it's making some weird sounds. I don't like that. It seems to work, but god, do I really want to mess with this for like 30 bucks if I'm lucky? I don't want to have to explain that sound. <laughs> yeah, let's just call it good. Even though yeah, it works, but yeah. Works with issues, so yeah, we'll leave it. Emerson CRT, though. Looks like it even has the remote with it. Oh, cool. Let's see what kind of connections we got on the back. Oh, yeah, just the classic ones. Coaxial. Pre uh, AV cables. You have to have your little RF splitter. Got a cart here too that nobody had put out yet. There's some Fortnite stuff. It's like a big bag of accessories. I've actually sold some of these three and three and a quarter or three and three quarter uh, Fortnite figures before. We went six bucks for it. I feel like I got over twenty for like a lot of four of these figures that had zero accessories. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put this up. I'm sure I'll get more than seven bucks for it. I'm sure I can get twenty bucks for this. More of the figures in here for another five bucks. So we'd be about eleven bucks all in for a six figure lot with a bunch of uh bunch of accessories. Boogie boogie. Anything else? It's like a vintage stretch arm stuff. Or a uh, little pocket one. I've never seen those before. So uh, Star Wars Rebels. There's a Mumra. A few little things in this one, but probably leave this one behind. Pick up these uh, sealed Simpson sets too. Those will be good. 
old accident. This one, there wasn't much seals to get in. I'll have to scan that other one. That one was good. Jack Kirby. Then this one was pretty good. It's like a $30 or $40 one. Some damage, so it's not perfect, but. Scan that again for you. We found this old M audio accessory too. Like a. I think it's for MIDI. Five bucks. They sell for about 20. And then the uh, two little Fortnite bundles. So kind of unexpected. Okay, it's still got a decent little score. I think production might have actually worked today or something. Because I found stuff that definitely wasn't uh, just media. It's kind of funny, My one of my toy rival buyers in there. <laughs> this guy is really nice guy, but, you know, I think he gets irritated at me. Uh, just because, you know, obviously we're both competing for the same stuff. He was uh, trying to hide his cart from me and wouldn't look up at me. <laughs> like dude just relax we're all just doing the same thing so anyway i thought that was kind of funny but yeah no i'm happy pretty good for a monday all right we're gonna pick orders and then uh I forgot it's monday and i grabbed all my stuff so i still have to go to the post office so <laughs> one more chore to do before picking our orders let's talk about the last few things that uh sold yesterday that we didn't get to show you uh, first thing is this Electrical Machines, Drives, and Power Systems book. Uh, literally just picked up this book about a week ago. I think it was one of our Sunday and Monday pickups. Got $45 for that. Anytime you find uh, these electrical books or electrician stuff, anything involved that, um, definitely make sure you look them up because most of the time they're pretty good. Uh, next, we sold a Beagle Bassett Airfix uh, airplane model. Uh, we got $20 for that. Next, we sold a couple Black Crow CDs that were sealed. $34 for the pair, so awesome sale there. We also sold a uh, Spy vs. Spy board game. Took a best offer for $25, had it up for $28. So, had a decent weekend overall. Nothing super crazy, but, you know, it was uh, better than nothing. Super Bowl uh, Sunday was really slow, obviously. Next up, we sold... Uh, this is going out tonight... We've got the trailer park boys. I've still never seen this. A bunch of my friends at work love it. Uh, this is the sixth season sealed. Uh, we got $12 for that. Uh, so nothing crazy for a sealed CD. Uh, next up, we sold my last copy of Voltac, uh, Masters of the Universe Classics figure. Uh, we got $50 for him. Next, we just found these Godzilla Blu-rays the other day. And awesome. They were both worth about $35. Got 35 for it, paid my asking price. Then at home we sold a copy of Pinstriping Masters Techniques and Tricks. I was searching for the word, uh, it's uh, airbrushing techniques. So I think that's what the book is about. We got $20 for that. And then we just sold this Your Name Blu-ray DVD anime movie. Uh, got $17 for that. Uh, took a best offer, had it up for 18 and they offered 10 and came back with 17 and they actually took it. So they really wanted to buy it. So I think that's everything today. I just uh, did a bunch of inventorying, getting stuff out of bags. I need to like inventory my tapes and my, uh, I've got video games, CDs, VHS, a couple things of DVDs, some books. Um, but I wanted to get them out of bags. This isn't going to be much <laughs> better for searching through them until I get them inventoried. But that was just the bags were falling apart and I really need to get out here next weekend or when I get some free time and, uh, you know, about 10 bags of toys and various stuff that I need to get into my bins and stuff too. So anyway, uh, we'll get this out tonight and uh, we'll see you next time.